Hey everybody, Bob here and welcome to another Making Stuff video. Well today the contest deadline has arrived so that means it's time once and for all to find out if my cheap nail gun can make it through an entire box of nails without breaking. So let's head on over to the robot and I'm going to fire it up and we'll start nailing some nails. But first I just want to do a quick overview of how it works. So here's a quick rundown of how everything works. I'm using an Arduino Mega to control a couple of relays and these relays turn the voltage on and off to the solenoid valves. Now the solenoid valves send air to the pneumatic cylinders and that air supply is regulated with this regulator right here. And since things can get ugly really quick with this application, I've also added an emergency stop switch. So the arm that the nail gun is mounted to is controlled by two pneumatic cylinders. This one will raise and lower the arm, and this one will pull the trigger, which will cause a nail to be fired into the wood. Now to keep a nail from being fired in the same place over and over again, this whole assembly is mounted to two linear slide rails so that the platform can be moved. And the platform will be moved by this NEMA 34 stepper motor and this closed loop stepper motor controller. And to power that big stepper motor, I'm using this variable output power supply. It will output between 0 and 48 volts at 10 amps. And it has a potentiometer here on the side where you can adjust the voltage. You can also hook up an external potentiometer so you can remotely change the voltage of this power supply. And one thing that I like about it is it has this LED display on top that lets you know what voltage it's set to. And there's links to all of these items in the description of the video. All right, for the nailing, I'm using a central pneumatic nail gun. So I'm going to use central pneumatic nails. These are 16 gauge and two inch nails and I will be nailing them into a pressure treated two by four and a half inch piece of plywood because as you can see here, the nails are just a little bit longer than the two by four and I don't want to nail my two by four to the table with hundreds of these nails because I'll never get it off of the table. And I just want to say that I personally think something is going to fail catastrophically during this test. It might be the nail gun, it might be my machine, it might be something else. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to be wearing this face mask and hearing protection. All right, so it is all hooked up, powered up, ready to go. Let's get this contest started and start doing some nailing. So I have run into a slight problem and that problem is I have run out of nails. So that means that I now own my first nail gun that lasted longer than one box of nails. Now it took about two hours to run all these nails through the uh, nail robot and it was a total of 2,500 nails. So what does that mean for the contest? That means that everybody that followed directions in the first video and they entered a guess that was only a number, no text or punctuation. That means you guys are entered in the random drawing. So that means I'm going to just randomly draw three names 
uh, from all of the valid guesses, and that will be our first, second, and third place. So let's head over to the computer and we will start that process right now. All right, so I'm going to start off by drawing for the third place prize, and that is the attachment that goes on an angle grinder to turn it into a little miniature belt grinder, and that's from banggood.com. So here we go. We will start with our first random drawing. And that winner is Tim H with a guess of 3,244. So Tim H is our third place winner. Now I'm going to move on to second place. And that is for the Fireball Tool Monster Square. So let's do the drawing there. And that is KD with a guess of 2310. He is our second place winner. And now we will do our first place. First place grand prize will be the Fireball Tool Mega Square. So here we go, drawing for that. And that is Sean Bennett with a guess of 2,400. So there we go. There is our first, second, and third place winners. And that will end our contest. So congratulations to the winners. I need you guys to send me your contact info over on the Making Stuff webpage. And I'm starting to accumulate a weird little two by four collection here. If you don't know what this one's from, I'll put a link in the description. So. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me that big thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing and make sure you ring that bell so you don't miss any upcoming Making Stuff videos. And thanks for watching.